I think it's partly for his domestic base, but I think the other part of that is that he doesn't know anything about international relations, and he surrounded himself by extremists who are driving this policy. His ambassador to Israel, David Friedman, is a man who called Obama an anti-Semite at one point. And Obama's crime is that at the United Nations, he abstained from a vote on Israeli settlements. Effectively, when the UN put out the question of where does the world community stand on Israel's theft of Palestinian land, Obama said, I'm going to sit this one out. In a saner world, this would be a betrayal of the Palestinians. But we're somehow in this reverse alternate universe where abstaining from a decision like this is somehow seen as a betrayal of Israel instead of a betrayal of the victims. It's just, it's entirely backwards. Let me ask you this, Omar. Uh, let's look at the Palestinian side of this, the Palestinian leadership for one. Does President Mahmoud Abbas have any credibility left right now with the Palestinians? I don't think that he's in much position to actually, in a, the legitimacy of the leadership has been completely usurped by the fact that he has pursued this path of negotiations, endless negotiations. If you look at the Palestine papers that were released uh, a few years ago, it's clear that they were bending over backwards to try to accommodate every Israeli and American demand in the hopes of getting a state at the end of it. And it led to absolutely nowhere. And I think and one important point that we cannot miss is that the Palestinians recognized Israel in 1988. That's recognizing nearly 80% of the land as Israeli. And they're still being asked to compromise on the remaining 20% of their land. That's the occupied territories. The idea that the Palestinians are the ones who are uh, blocking a solution from happening is, is entirely absurd. It's, it's pretty clear when you look at it on its face. Settlement expansion on the remaining 20% of what's left of Palestine is, is the actual problem. And let me get Matthew's response on that. <laughs> uh, look, I, I don't want to get into refuting every tired old talking point that's been around for 40, 50 years. I mean, the fact is there's a mythology that I believe Palestinians have, and apparently this president believes the same thing. They believe that they're going to get all of Jerusalem. They believe that they're going to have the return of some that's 6 absurd. million refugees into Israel. The issue, the crux of it has and remains about Israel's existence in 1948, not 1967, and the borders. That's and the fact incorrect. is, that's just factually that's incorrect. That's fine, I know. Netanyahu said he Listen, I let you talk borders. and say all the sure, garbage sir, just, you said, you so you give me the own respect, the too. Fact that no, no, said no, he no, 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 you're going to say your yeah. stuff, I'll say By mine. By all means, go That's fine. Sure. Okay, so in the end, basically what we have is two sides that are trying to find a way to an agreement. Well, if one side isn't going to grapple with its mythology, then from Israel's perspective and from America's perspective, then fine. There are consequences for starting wars and then losing them. That's what happens. And right now, the Palestinian leadership has decided since 2011, if not before, when Mahmoud Abbas even wrote about this in the New York Times, that their plan was to internationalize the entire conflict. The plan is to try to sue at the International Criminal Court and to pursue all these other trappings of statehood without grappling with the mythology, without ever having to compromise, because their red line has not okay. shifted we, we owe the audience. 2000. We owe the audience clarity okay, about one ahead. crucial thing. Yeah. The United Nations, the Resolution 242, says Israel has to end the occupation. The Palestinians That's recognize what it says. The Palestinians recognize, of course it does. The Palestinians recognize, now you're interrupting me, by the way, just be mindful of that. Oh, the Palestinians sorry. recognized Israel in 1988. And the entire idea of a peace process was Israel was supposed to be withdrawing from the Palestinian territories. Netanyahu just said during his election campaign that there will not be a Palestinian state on his watch. And he said that he rejects the 1967 borders. So to, again, twist reality and deceive the audience and pretend that the Palestinians are the ones who are rejecting a two-state solution okay. is something, it's honestly really disrespectful to the people let who me, are watching. Let me go to Saha. Saha, you know, 